All right, so camera, here we go. I'm on lesson four, my homework on page 635. Model each fraction using fraction tiles and place them side by side. So I was just using all these fraction tiles for the other pages, but I'm not going to pull them out again. So one third plus one third plus one half is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, right? One third. I don't have enough six to show you, right? But one third is the same as two sixths, right? And one half is going to be the same as three sixths. I don't have enough to do a real German demonstration, so we'll have to use theirs. So seven six. So seven six, hopefully you could see seven six is going to be bigger than one. It's an improper fraction. Hopefully your alarm in your head's going off. What? Okay, so count all there are seven of the one six fraction tiles in all. So we're gonna add them, and then we have seven six. Right? So I can't leave it an improper fraction. 7 6 means 7 divided by 6. So I'm going to say 7 divided by 6. Can 6 go into 7? Yes. 1 times. 1 times 6 is 6. I subtract. Take away 1. Wait, I have 1. So now I'm going to bring my 1 up and put my 6 underneath it. And I have 1 and 1 6. Right, and another way to do this, I could do this a different way. I'll write it right here. Seven, six, right? I know six, six is gonna be one, so there's my one. Six, six plus something, right? It's gonna have to have a six, because I have to have my sixes. So six plus one would be seven, right? So here I'd change it, I'd say this is one, so I'd have one and one, six. I'm going to do find the sum using the fraction tile shown. So, right, if you're at home now, you just go one, two, three, fourths. Right, I took my one half, I turned it, turned it into two fourths. And then I added one more fourth, and now I have three fourths. Right, so now I have one half plus one sixth. So, I'm going to take my half, I'm going to multiply by three on the bottom, three on the top. Then I'm going to have three six, one, two, three six. Sorry, I have three six. Or one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, six. Sorry, four six. So hopefully, if I look up here, like remember, two thirds, here's one, two, three, four sixths. Two thirds is one, two, three, four, six. So four, six is going to be equal to two thirds, right? I divided the top by two and the bottom by two. Four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. So my answer is, final answer, two thirds. Almost done. After school, Maurice walks one third mile to the park and then walks half a mile to his house. How far does Maurice walk from school to his house? So he's going from his school and he's going to go to his park. And then his house is right over here. Put a hat his little heart for his house. He loves his house. So he's going to walk from his school to the park. And that is going to be one third of a mile. And then from the park, he's going to have to go home after school, right? So he's going to go one half of a mile. So I'm going to add one third plus one half and see how far, how long it took him to get home. So I see three and two, and I think <gasps> six times two to get six times two to get six. So this is going to be equal to two, and this is going to be equal to six. So two six plus 
I'm going to multiply the top times 3 because I know I'm going to need to multiply the bottom times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So now I'm going to say 2, 6 plus 3, 6, 6, 6, 6, and the 2 plus the 3 is 5. All right, here's Ricky. He took a survey of the fifth grade and found that two-thirds of the students ride the bus to school and one-fourth of the students walk. What fraction of the fifth grade students either ride the bus or walk to school? All right, the rest of them get driven by their parents or something. So we're going to do, I'm going to just do it right here, two-thirds plus one-fourth equals now I'm realizing i got to leave a lot of room here. So I'm going to turn this into a 3 and 4, right? We've done that a bunch of times, so hopefully you guys remember when I do the 3 and the 4, my common denominator is going to be a 12. Or we could, do, we could just do it again. Why don't we do it again? 3 and 4. So you guys are learning this stuff. So let's count by threes. Three, nine, twelve, fifteen. I just go four for my practice. And here I'm going to do four multiples of four. Four. One times four is four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is twelve. And four times four is sixteen. I'm going to see what is the greatest common multiple they have. Twelve and twelve. So I'm going to make sure my answer is a twelve. And then I'm going to take my bottom times 4 over here and my top times 4 to turn the 3 into a 12. Right, so now this is going to be 12 and 4 times 2 is 8. So I'll just cross those out. So I remember now I'm using 8 twelfths plus, and I'll do this over here. How's that? I'm going to say 4 to get a 12. I need to go 3 times and I'll have to do the same thing to the top. So 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 4 is 12. So now I need to add 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. So 8 plus 3 is 11. He almost walks one whole mile. Or he walks, whoops. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys caught me what I did. I did 3 times 4 and then I did 3 times 1. I broke my own rule. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. I'm just thinking about being done and my neck is hurting me. Sorry, I'm just, I don't know. So I did it right. I don't know what I'm tripping on. Okay, 11 twelfths. Of the students either walk or ride. So I'm going to say 11 twelfths walk or ride. All right, so here's Elizabeth. She made an English muffin pizza using one fourth cup of cheese and three eighths cup of sausage, right? Have you ever made one? You take your English muffin and you put sauce on it and then you put cheese on it and she put sausage on hers also. How many cups of toppings did she use? So she did her toppings were cheese and sausage. So she used one fourth of a cup of cheese plus three eighths of a cup of sausage is going to be equal to, I have to find my common denominator, I'm going to say 8, right? I can turn my 4 into an 8 by multiplying times 2. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8, 8, 8. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And we're measuring cups. So I'm going to put 5 eighths of a cup. And here's Craig and Alyssa are building a sandcastle on the beach. They each have a bucket. Craig's bucket holds one half a pound of sand, and Elisa's bucket holds nine tenths of a pound of sand. How much sand can Craig and Elisa collect together at one time? So there's the sand castle. So if they both go down and collect sand and bring it back, how much will they have all together? One half a pound and nine tenths of a pound. Right, you can tell that Craig's bucket does not hold as much sand as Alyssa's does, right? She almost has one whole bucket, and he has a half a bucket, half a pound. They have different sized buckets.
All right, so I have to figure out how two and 10, I can get them to be the same. I can turn my two into a 10 easiest, right? I'll turn my two into a 10 by multiplying it times five. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top. One times five is five. Two times five is 10. So I'm gonna say 10, 10. My denominator is going to be 10. I'm gonna say five plus nine is 14. And hopefully your brain's going, no, 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 it's an improper fraction. We need to fix it. All right, so let's fix it. Let's go over here. I'm gonna take 14 right over 10, which is the same as 14 divided by 10. So now I wanna do my work, right? I'm gonna say 14 and I'm gonna divide it by 10. 10 goes into 14 one time. One times 10 is 10. I subtract, I have a four. So I'm going to take my 4 and put it over my 10. And hopefully your brain's away. wait, 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 don't stop yet. We still have to divide by 2 here, right? So I'm going to divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2 to get to my least common factor, my greatest common factor, sorry. Um, so I'll have 1, four, time, 4 divided by 4 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my answer is 1 and 2 fifths pound of sand. And last but not least, complete the sentence with the correct vocabulary word or words, right? That's why they put the S. It might be a word. It might be two words. This time it's going to be two. Fractions that have different denominators are called unlike fractions, right? It comes right from the title of our chapter. Are called unlike the end. So now I'm going to have you guys upload me. So hopefully you did all of them. I, I want you guys to um, record a video and send all of these pages for me. So I want a video of all of these pages, just like I sent you. So I want you to take your pages and show them to me that you did them. So I know that you're going to have the right answers because we did them together. Right, so I want you to record from your screen a video of you with the right answers, and I want to see some work. So if you didn't do any work, go back and do some work and show it to me, all right, like that. I want to see all of your pages.